sometimes can open up those running lanes. Jawan Spillman runs it out of the end zone for Louisville, has a crease. Beats the kicker and takes it to the house. No flags. Yeah, I want you to watch number one, talking about making a play. Ito, I think he's trying to turn him back to the middle of the field, but my friend, you've got you got to close the gap there a little bit, make a little bit of an effort. I, Spillman has such great speed, but once he got out, that's chopping a lot of wood for that young back. And the deep kickoff taken by Spillman. Did he do it again? He was tripped up as he crossed the 20. Just keep but he ripping. had a crease. Keep ripping on this Louisville special teams. They seem to like we that. We woke him up. You see last yeah. week. He motivated there you go. them. There we go. Wait for They have a young group, a group that has a great future. But right now, they just, I, so far in this game, when they've come across the middle, they've shown their inexperience and being a little intimidated by this Louisville defense. And this is Sean Tucker, their senior captain, the receiver, who remains out with a broken ankle on the punt. Up the middle. Once again, it's Jawan Spillman who's been dangerous tonight and out near the 45-yard line. So good field position for the Cardinals as they try to build on this and only to come away with a, another attempted punt by the Rutgers offense. Teal has played better than his numbers right now, 4 of 13. Just a lot of drops right now by the tight end and the receivers. And Harris is a good receiving tight end. He's a guy they count on. Couldn't collect that pass, and now they have to punt it away. And this time, a, a nice job corralling Spillman. No running room for the dangerous Louisville returner, but Rutgers defense has to go back. Ito again short on the kickoff and Spillman will have a chance at the three. Reverses direction. Look at the burst from Jawan Spillman. He's in the open. Spillman just corralled at the 30. What a crucial tackle by Zaire Kitchen who's had a couple of them on special teams tonight. A 31-yard return that could have been a lot longer. Wow, did he save a big game. Spillman's been a people tuned away, came back to see how they were doing. <laughs> They're 13 seconds away from knocking off the number three team in the country. Why they could never get it going, that might be one. Well, they will kick it deep. They will kick it deep, and Spillman will have a chance. That's a surprise. He's got some room. Jawan Spillman with one second to go does get it across the... It turned loose on this play as Brown comes underneath. Douglas makes the catch. Check that Spillman. Jawan Spillman makes the catch, but well shy of a first down. So here's that gray area, isn't it, John, in terms of down and distance and field position inside the 40-yard line. Energize a defense as well. I mean, when a defense is constantly down, as Syracuse's defense have been, they've given up yardage in big chunks. They must feel as if they have a new lease on life. Watching what's happened. And the game almost turned the other way by Jawan Spillman. A 35-yard kickoff return by Spillman. You know, Syracuse coming into this game, they probably thought, Bob, they needed big plays to hang around because Louisville's got the type of offense. Press box, Jawan Spillman gets outside and picks up a first down. Brought down by Nick Chestnut at the 36-yard line. How about that relationship between older brother and younger brother? 218 yards in the first half. They're already about 20 yards past their per-game average. on track right now. Under pressure, Brom shovels it, and somehow it finds its way to Jawan Spillman, and he's out of bounds with a gain of about three yards. Brom with a better. And a savvy play by Brian Brom, and a, and, a, and a, oh, no, 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 yes play by the coaches on the sidelines because Jawan Spillman made something out of nothing, and it's a positive play that could have been a very bad play. Dangerous now, number 10 of the NCAA in kick returns. Looking for a hole, he's got one, and a saving tackle for the Pitt Panthers that time by Reggie Carter, number 21, who saved the tackle after 30. Because the field here took a beating yesterday. Tough snap, and a funny-looking little kick. This might roll a lot, though. 
He's got some room here. Spillman. He'll take this into Panthers territory. So excellent field position for the Cardinals here. And Ray, what do you think? How do you think this field has held up so far after four high school games yesterday? I think it's held up pretty dang good. Seven, Eric Wood. In the red zone again, Louisville about 96 percent. They may get another touchdown. They do. That is Spillman. Juwan Spillman, the freshman from Louisville, gets his first touchdown of the season on a 13-yard carry, and now the Cardinals have busted this one open. Oh, that's just the speed of Spillman. Third down and four here, stripling the back. A little shovel pass. And that's Spillman, and he has the first down. So Juwan Spillman, who's made one big touchdown already with a big play there, because that means Pitt is going to have to suffer through some more plays unless they can force a turnover. Juwan Spillman on the jet sweep just outraces everybody to the edge and gets it inside the pylon. Those are your two touchdowns for the Louisville Cardinals in the third quarter. First and ten, Cantwell, his first throw. He connects with Spillman, the freshman. Much different. Good punt. Spillman's going to have to go back to his own 32-yard line. He is just dancing around. Boy, he's got great speed and elusiveness. And pretty good field position. Cantwell. Pass complete. Spillman showing those wheels. Right down at the 20-yard line by... Cause you can't put a rubber band around a million. I be wildin' on an island somewhere just like Gilligan. Oh, hey, okay. Hey, 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 hey,
He's in the back. Oh, he's slamming, he's slamming, he's slamming. Throwing. That's it. <laughs> 